Now, just to go straight to what it was like to win that county title for Parry Pierce's first time ever, I think you'd lost three county finals, was it? And the club in eight final appearances had never won one. Like, what, what's the thing that you picture or, you know, like what, what comes to mind when you think of that final whistle? Um, I suppose the, on the day, the feeling, <laughs> once the final whistle came, Paul Wheel, our keeper, came straight over to me and uh, you could see people running onto the field and I suppose the emotion was as much relief as happiness, I'd say, maybe probably more relief. Um, and then witnessing, I suppose, grown men who soldier for the club for years, uh, broken down to tears. And then I suppose the founding member, Frankie Flynn, who was one of the founding members of the club back in 1962, he was in tears also. So that was sheer raw emotion on the day. And it was, mm. uh, was kind of afterwards, you only realise how much it meant to so many different people. Yeah, and, and were those final few minutes, like, can you remember the, the final minutes of the game, just praying for that whistle to go? Yeah, you can, yeah. No, we tried, every, we tried to keep the ball, and then we gave the ball away, and we tried to go up the field and score f uh, to get four up, which would probably secure the game. Um, and then a high ball came in, and Paul Whelan made a great save on the line, and then Dave Murray threw his body on the line uh, to block a ball, and then, thankfully, the whistle blew. So, I know it was an unbelievable day. Um, I suppose when you suffer so many heartaches, uh, it's great just get over the line. It was a huge feeling of relief and a big weight off the shoulders. And what can you can contrast or even compare? What's the feeling like when you win a conic title with Ross Common? We all remember the pictures a couple of years ago, the likes of uh, Enda Smith getting mm. lifted up by the fans, that type of stuff. And it just seemed like the the whole county has won, just came onto the field. Like how different or similar is it? Oh, it was very similar emotion. Yeah, um, I suppose the only thing with the club is with a. Yeah, people are patting you on the back, you know, 99% of them. And whereas with the county, you, uh, you know them, but you may not know their names or you may, you, you know some of them, but you don't know them all. Um, but uh, I suppose with the club on the day, uh, seeing people running on and there was lads being lifted up and um, it just it was it meant so much to so many people. That was the one thing, the community. And then on the way home, we had a, we toured the area, the club area. So we were in Top McConnell, we were in Korea and we were in Moore and... I suppose driving along in the car it took us a while to go through it all, but it may, you were seeing different people living in different areas, and you were didn't realise that person lived there, and they'd bonfire out, and it just was an unbelievable evening that evening. Because and then once you had that done, I mean, those of us that aren't involved in the celebrations and what that takes out of you, both physically, obviously, mm. and mentally, we're looking at the draw and thinking, right, you're going to get Mayo and Galway are on the other side. There's there's a connect final at 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 play or in store here for you if you get the heads right straight away. Could you kind of, how quickly could you refocus for that? Ah, uh, listen, uh, we had a three week gap, so from the two games from the kind of er, from the final to the next round of Connacht, so that was a big thing. Uh, we did celebrate for the week, and um, I think we went back training the Sunday morning, uh, two weeks before the Tour de Strand game, um, and it did take a few days. There's no point. Uh, a few <laughs> Pat and the boys would have had to been at us a few times, and in fairness, a few players stepped up and drove it on a small bit. Um, and we would have talked about standards and training. And once we got once we got it sorted and got our heads right, uh, going down to the Tour de Strand game, it was always going to be tricky. Um, the word on the street was the Tour de Strand had played Curve in two challenges, and had beaten them twice. So we knew the challenge that awaited. But as long as we we knew if we could perform to near our potential or our potential, we'd have a great chance of winning. And then of course Cara Finn, double All Ireland champions. They look like the sort of team that would be able to compete in Division Three, maybe even Division Two <laughs> in the National League. There couldn't be a bigger possible task in club football. Yeah, yeah, you could even say maybe Division One. Um, yeah, no, you're looking at probably you. I would compare them something similar to Dublin. You're looking at Dublin has been one of the greatest of uh, all Ireland, or greatest intercounty team, and then Curfin possibly one of the great, or one of the greatest uh, club teams. Um, the challenge awaits, but sure, it's a challenge we'll. Uh, we look forward to who else would you rather uh, would you like to play in a county final other than Curfin? So really looking forward to it. You'd probably rather they were knocked out by someone else and let someone else do the dirty work. Uh, joking aside though, what, what's been, what's been the parish? What has the parish been like leading into this final? Oh, it's been a, it's, it's been a whirlwind. Um, I suppose we the, our last game was in London ten days ago or nine days ago now, and most of the parish is over there. Uh, the, you couldn't think of any people that were were left that didn't go. Um, no, it's been unbelievable, and then you have a lot of people look, uh, jumping on board, to sponsor, and uh, the little small little jobs. Aaron Clyer has been our club chairman, and he is our football board chairman, and he's been getting a great assistance from different outside sources and all. Uh, no, it's been it's great, and everyone has run in, and everyone has really been really supportive, and hopefully on Sunday we'll do ourselves justice. 
just to reflect on the year with Ross Common, what co- what comes to mind when you think of it, and you know, it being Anthony Cunningham's first year in with you? Oh, uh, on the whole, it was a successful year. Um, so, was win the Con- uh, Connacht Championship in the way we did, beating Mayo away and beating Galway away was huge for the team. Um, at the start of the year, there wouldn't been too many people saying you're going to go away to Mayo and you're going to go away to Galway and win a Connacht Championship. So that was brilliant. Um, that then we went into the Super Eights. Tyrone game was probably a game which we probably have a small bit of. Uh, we would have felt we played well in the day, and, and probably a few things didn't go away. Chances we probably missed a few chances we wouldn't normally miss, and then we we would have felt totally that we let ourselves down against Dublin. That's probably the one, the the sick feeling we have from the Super Eights this year, and. Um, I suppose we have him, and then we finally finished it off by beating Cork and, and getting our first Super 8 win was a huge, it was a positive, it was a nice way to finish the year, but generally we, we, you've positive, you've mixed emotions, you've the great uh, result in Galway and beating Mayo away, but the, our performance, not, not saying the result, but the performance in Crow Park really left a lot to be desired. Because if you compare it with a year earlier, I think maybe both Dublin and Tyrone put something like 424 on you. I might have to score a little bit off there, but you conceded on average 30 points a game, give or take. Mm. So you have made progress, but like, do you feel you're making enough progress that you think, right, we can, we can really start grabbing onto these top teams and maybe make a dent? Ah, yeah, we have made progress, I suppose. Um, who, well, who's going to grab... Like, there's not too many teams that are able to rattle Dublin, and I suppose Kerry were the one team to give Dublin a proper game. Uh, this year, there probably was the, the two games were a great, great two games. Um, I suppose we we'll just keep training hard, working hard, and hopefully uh, the league. We're in Division Two this year in the league, and we hope to be competitive in that and do as well as we can. Um, but once the championship comes, we our first round is away to London, and we'll refocus then. Uh, we'll try, we like we will try and improve from what we from a few of the things from last year. Thanks very much, and best of luck in the kind of final. Thank you. Cheers.